Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Conrad and this is Climbing as a Support. Oh, we're keeping the year alive. Look at that shit. Look at how we kept the year alive. Ah! First, I have a little announcement for you guys. And that is that I have finally emotes coming to my Twitch subscribers. This one here will be the tier one emote. And this one here will be the tier two emote. Unfortunately for now, I'm only able to have one emote per tier. But as I gain more subscribers on Twitch, I will unlock more emotes for you guys that you can use. And hopefully this will be live on tomorrow's stream Tuesday, but if not, at least by the end of the week. Because the thing is that Twitch actually needs to approve of my emotes first, so we'll see how long that takes them. I will also have badges coming that you guys can earn, and the badges for 1, 2 and 3 months of subscription will look like this. As you can see, they are based around the league ranks, so if you want to earn your gold rank in the Sumis crew, subscribe to me on Twitch, the link is down below, and we are streaming every Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday from 5 o'clock until midnight Swedish time, so hope to see you guys there. So how is it actually going for me in rank right now? To be honest, I'm quite hard stack gold 4 right now and I'm not able to climb at all. The thing is, I've been playing Enchanter supports for as long as I can remember, like Yanna, Lulu and Sona, those are probably my best champs by far. But the thing is, like in this current meta, I feel like it's just not enough to kind of stay safe in lane and scale for the late game. And the problem is that I don't feel like I ever was a good laner. I was never an aggressive laner and good at like actually forcing and winning lane. I was always good at like mid and late game team fights and having control of the map and having good positioning and having good war control. Like, actually trying to force the lane was never my strong side because I always already committed, then I got caught out and I died. So I learned to play quite defensively in lane and scale for the late game. But that just isn't enough right now. I've always hated people who place AP supports, like Brand and Lux and Syrah. And I've always been able to beat them late game by just being a better support. But the thing is, the way the game is right now is that there's just so much damage that the AP supports basically become like an unfed mid laner, and you can't compete with that. So I've had no other choice than to actually pick up these aggressive supports myself and try to learn them. And as I said before, I've never been a good laner, but something I feel like I've learned while training on these champs is to not overcommit on the poke. You really need to have respect for the enemy laners and actually try to capitalize on their mistakes rather than actually forcing the damage. For now, I'm playing Luke support and one more AP support that I don't want to show you guys yet. I mean, obviously if you follow me on stream, you will know what it is. And if you look up my match history, you will know what it is. But it's just that I want to make a really good in-depth guide about this champ because I feel like it has so many cool tips and tricks that I want to show you. But I will do that as soon as I have a little bit more time because currently I'm finishing up on my bachelor's thesis so whenever I'm done with that I will have a little bit more time to make YouTube videos. But for now I hope that you will enjoy today's video and if you like the video please press like and if you have any comments or any questions or anything put them down below and I will answer them all. And if you're excited about future content please subscribe. Okay, not really worded. <clears throat> oh, oh that's hill! So close. Uh, where's their jungler? Who is their jungler? Iron. Okay, I should go ward. I haven't seen him on the map, so I don't really know where he is. Okay, he's here. That's good timing on the ward. That's like really good timing on the ward. <laughs> That's not the first time. It's a spider senses. It's a support senses. <laughs> I don't know how many times I've gone to that bush and exactly when I go into the bush, the sub uh, jungler is there. Without the trundle, I don't really know what we can do in this lane. Thanks. Yeah, I needed that. Oh, she's running electrocute. I didn't even see the Caitlyn down. Actually, since the summers of the Caitlyn are down, uh, the Trundle should try and come bot more. 
Because it's the one lane he can actually get the kill in. Ah, just need to survive lane face. Actually, I'm super worried about the uh, level 6. But I need to make sure we got some pressure. Oh, nice one. She shouldn't have flash still now. I don't think she has flash. Nice, perfect. I guess the Q was like, I didn't hit the Q on the enemy, but it was good enough to screen her away. I'll put the ward down here because when we get back, I don't want to get uh, smashed from this bush. Honestly, I don't know how we're gonna survive their level 6. I'm going to play so defensively. Careful of the Annie going around. For sure, she's trying, going to try and go into this bush. Yeah. Annie's going for a flash ulti. Need to be super careful. It's done. How come she has so much movement speed, by the way? What the fuck is that? How the, how the hell can she have that much movement speed? Just poke her down. I'm gonna kill her with one thing. Oh my god! <laughs> what was that damage? <laughs> what was that ulti damage? Just screen her away from the farm. Okay, I'll do this. I'll take it. Can we kill us? Oh, thank god his ulti didn't kill me. That was so close. Too bad I'm on. Does her W give her movement speed? Did it buff Annie? <laughs> I can't with the poke, honestly. It's so dumb. Oh shit, there's people here. Good damage. Nice. <laughs> this is too damn good. Kate, 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 Kate. Oh my god. Did I make it? No, I walked into her vision. No, 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 no. Shit, I'm so dumb. Oh, wow. Wow, the Atrox, bro. That's insane. Oh my god. What the fuck was that Atrox? Damn. In extended fights, you kind of run out of mana. Would be nice to have anything. I just realized I was so out of position in that fight. Oh my god, what is the captain doing? That's insane. Okay, it's a game. Shit, I was so worried about that. Uh, I was really, really worried about that, Annie. I'm not gonna lie. I wish the turret would have started hitting them earlier. Too so many minutes to clear. Oh my god. That is fuck. He was still here. I was like, ah, oh, for sure he needs to go back mid since the Asir is pushing. Nice. We're being useful. Oh, thank god, I didn't have mana for the shield. Ah, oh, that was too damn close. Bruh, I was so um there. 
Oh my god. Ah, so close. Oh, we got it. Hey, let's go! It's a spicy team fight. Also, drill a team fight. I don't know what they were doing. Bruh, have faith in the ye. We said, have faith in the ye. Oh my god, I cannot flash out of that. So I CC or something? Okay, I'll take it. I'll die for that. I'll die for that. <laughs> it's probably not thanks to me, but okay. <laughs> it's just the year being so hella strong right now. Oh yeah, fear. That's why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I couldn't flash out. I wanted to flash, but I got feared. Oh, let's go. No, that missed, bruh. I'm so bad at angling some of my shit sometimes. Still that close for comfort. Oh, my God. Oh, we're keeping the year alive. Look at that shit. Look at how we kept the year alive. Ah, <laughs> do you see how low he was twice? Okay, I guess this game. Nice. Damn, that comeback now. Holy shit, that's an OP. Damn, never saw anything like that. That's actually insane. 